for more tutorials, videos, and reviews, check out creatingtracks.com. Hey guys, welcome to creatingtracks.com and this is the performance kit we made last time. So that's what we did last time and this time we're talking about side chaining these basses uh, so that they can blend better with our kick drum. And every time I play the kick drum, I want the sound of these basses to duck in volume. So these specific, these three, and then my chords as well. And I want this pad to be side chained by the kick. So let's go ahead and add a compressor. So plus internal compressor. And you can see all these options over here, which is your main. And then we also have uh, actually, that's the mistake I made. Make sure you're in your sound tab. So I'm going to go back to my master, delete this compressor, go to the sound tab, and then add a new internal compressor. All right, cool. So then we have all these options over here. And if you go in your mixing window by clicking this button over here, then you can see we have the compressor. And you can also access this by hitting tab on your keyboard, or you can just hit that button on the top left right here. All right, so... Now I'm gonna to go to this compressor and with these arrows on your machine, you can toggle through this these options. And even on your software, you can see that the sidechain input is over here. And then here is a loop that I made. So check this out. All right, sweet. So now what we can do is I'm going to select this sample and then in the compressor and the sidechain input, you can see the source and the source is basically the input of your sidechain. So in this case, it's going to be the kick drum of our group. So I want the kick drum to play and every time the kick drum plays, the sound of the bass should reduce or volume should reduce. So the kick drum is the first sample and then in the compressor of the bass, we're going to select that kick drum. So the kick drum is in group D and it's the first sample. So I'm gonna to go to the source and select D1. So D1, S1, and you can see the name of the kick drum. And now the input is that kick drum. So if you go in this mixing window and I play, you're gonna see the gain reduction. And if I solo my kick and unmute the bass, and check it out. So the gain reduction here is showing our kick drum input. And every time you reduce this threshold, you're going to have more gain reduction, but it's also going to increase your gain a lot. So we're going to have to decrease the gain as we reduce the threshold. So keep that in mind. So let's get a quick attack, a fairly quick release. And then we're going to mess with the threshold as we play it. So if that's a little too much for you, then you can always bring the threshold back up. But for me, it sounds pretty good so far. So let's play everything together and see what it sounds like. So you can hear that pulsating effect in the bass, which is cool. And now we're going to take the same compressor and copy it on our chords. So I'm going to take this compressor, copy that, and then go to the chords. And then go to the plus sign and paste it. And now both of these sounds have the same sidechain compression happening. So let's see what that sounds like. I think that on the piano, that's a little too much. So what I'm going to do is select that piano and then go to the main. And in this mixing window, I'm just going to mess with the threshold and the gain and then see what that sounds like. So I really like this effect on my chords. So I'm just going to copy this one with the changes that I made and paste it on all my other piano chords. 
So select this one, go to the plus sign, paste that, and now all my chords have the same sidechain happening. And then my bass has a different sidechain happening. So I'll copy that compressor and then paste it on my other bass sounds. So paste, and then select the third one, which is over here, and then paste and check it out. Alright guys, so there you go. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for a lot more, and we will see you next time. Peace.